all these people in that white, uh, that white, uh, I'm not even sure what it is. It's a Navigator, Lincoln Navigator. Nebraska Tags, you saw what that was. Wednesday morning, they were out at Walmart for an hour panhandling. They were just out at Walmart again panhandling with a sign that said, uh, homeless, what did it say, homeless and hungry or something like that. But uh, a friend sent the picture of the vehicle to me and what they were driving and boy, they don't, they don't look very homeless to me, but. So, I mean, keep an eye out for this Lincoln Navigator, Nebraska Tags. I don't know where they're going to. There's nothing over there. Huh. Here they come this way. That's funny. Their vehicle is right on the other side of those gas pumps. In fact, uh, here. There's the back of the vehicle. See it sticking out there? I purposely parked here so the driver cannot see me. Kind of up behind the Murphy gas station. This is the gas station parking lot actually where I'm sitting at where Burger King and the mobile gas station used to be, the one that burned down uh, a few years ago, the one I filmed. And these people are just back out here at Walmart. I failed to say in the last video that I found out, so I posted a picture of their vehicle on Instagram and somebody said they were on vacation um, in Eau Claire, Wisconsin just a few weeks ago and they saw these people. And the reason they know they saw these people is it was the identical vehicle with tires on top which just stuck out. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm afraid to go back a little bit. I just don't want the driver to see me. And there you go. Two weeks ago in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, they drove straight north. Actually came northeast, away from where they were heading to. And go figure, in Eau Claire, they were spotted at a Walmart. Huh. Crazy, isn't it? They're laughing, giggling. See, they don't have the hood up this time. So they're not trying to pretend that they're with a vehicle. Turn the sign around so I can... That's pretty classy. He's got his ladies out there doing the work. You'd think they'd just give up, but uh, all it takes is a few people willing to give. I'm really surprised Walmart hasn't uh, come and kicked them out yet. That's normally what happens. 
But this is day two in Iron Mountain, Michigan at the Walmart. This is the third time now that uh, I've known that they were out here panhandling. And the first time I've been able to catch them in the act. Right now you're saying, is it illegal to panhandle in your town? No, actually no it's not. But anyway, I'm not even parked on Walmart property. And as far as I'm concerned, they are standing right out in the public for anybody to see, so. Now I've thought about confronting. However, I'm not sure if you've seen the size of that guy, but uh, I'm not one to, I'm not one to want to confront them and, you know, take them on. But they have not been successful at all. Guy at the pump thinks I'm recording him. I just got done telling that dude I wasn't recording him and I actually told him what I was doing and he kind of laughed at me. Here they go. Where they go, nobody knows. That's about right too, isn't it? <laughs> These guys are rolling away pretty quick. They're about a quarter mile ahead of me. I'm gonna try not to get as close as I did last time. I don't think they know I'm here yet. They're up at the light and they are turning left and we are gonna take a right into Subway. <laughs> I'm not sure where they went. They take a left there, but there's no place they could go by taking a left. I don't see them in the parking lot. They could be uh, hiding behind those uh, construction trailers and stuff. Or at Taco Bell. That's quite the possibility as well. But I'm going to go take a drive over there and we'll see. And now we're, that's Holiday Gas Station right there. US 2 is right on the other side here. I'm just kind of creeping up. They're right on the other side of those trailers there, across the way. Um, I kind of I saw them between the houses here, and I didn't want to film because people don't, you know, people, some people don't like me around here, and I don't want them thinking that I'm recording them. So we'll see. So now I am at the uh, food store. So you see where Taco Bell is. And that building right there is a motel and right on the other side of that is their vehicle I think they're getting a room I think they're gonna get a room and spend the night I mean if you think it's a good town and you can get away with it why not do it and this is day two for these guys here in Iron Mountain Michigan So they parked across the street, and now they're over at a Holiday Gas Station, just hanging out. I'm sure they're not going to ask for anything. There was just a couple of people walking across the parking lot with some bags in their hand, and I just happened to have, or I should say had, two bags of recyclables in my trunk, and I just gave it to them because I don't want it. So in Michigan, if you didn't know it, cans and bottles, carbonated products, we have to pay 10 cents extra per can for those purchases. And for a whole year during COVID, they did not accept any returns. So I have a whole basement full of cans. And I've been putting a couple of bags in my trunk, um, just looking for opportunities to give them away. I don't want to take them in. It's not worth my time and money to, to take it. Uh, a few dollars worth of cans, but I saw those those two folks there walking from the hotel and 
<laughs> I smiled and asked them, I said, uh, are those cans? And I gave them the two bags out of my trunk because that's the giving person that I feel that I am and I felt it was karma. I also felt it was fate that these panhandlers brought me here on purpose so I could give those people a donation of cans that I think might help them a little bit. I don't know. Just saying. And that's the way I feel about it, but... Oh, don't park there. Don't park there. Don't park... Okay, good. Anyway, they went in a holiday gas station, but they parked their vehicle in the parking lot of a hotel here across the street, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. And again, there's their vehicle. Well, the good news is, I know where you guys are out tonight. The bad news is, you're going to find yourself all over Facebook by morning. Look at this. Coming right at me. Coming right at me. I mean, day three of panhandlers. I'm hoping that they're uh, they're leaving town. I would probably guess that they saw or somebody told them about the Facebook and YouTube posts, and they are hightailing it out of town. We're gonna follow them, find out. I just uh, put a half a tank of gas in here, so I'm good to go for uh, at least a couple hours. They just uh, took a right about two blocks to my left right here, so I'm trying to figure out where they are now. They didn't come that way. So they came and took a right on one of these streets here. It seems that they do this a lot, that they uh, make sudden turns and uh, weird maneuvers. Where did they go? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they uh, they lost me again. That's the second time they've ditched me now by turning and I find that panhandlers, the professional ones, do that a lot. They will turn to see if anybody's following them, often going back the direction they just came from. So I'm hoping we find them up again here. I, I don't know where the heck they went to, but let's go back to Walmart. Got eyes on it again. Right lane, just about coming up to the next light. I'm in the left lane. Gosh, I don't like where I am. Not a good spot. So they are just aimlessly driving around Iron Mountain right now. Pretty crazy, I mean, you know. Stranded out of gas, homeless. Panhandlers just have time to drive around town and who knows what they're doing? Nebraska is the other direction. Yeah, they turned 
right in front of me again they took another left in that parking lot I don't know I don't know if they're on to me yet but I'm sure on to them not sure what they're doing now but uh Well, thankfully, thankfully they're going to get something to eat today. They're going into the Peking restaurant. So I looked up that, that Lincoln, and that Lincoln used runs about $40,000. $40,000. They're eating at Peking Chinese restaurant right now. They stayed the night at a hotel nearby. And they claim they're stranded trying to get back to Nebraska. Now you saw the one sign that said uh, yesterday talked about being out of gas. Well, they've been driving around 30 minutes already this morning. And it just amazes me how people... Uh, they see people panhandling and they just automatically assume they are uh, down on their luck. They're hard on times. They ran out of gas. Oh my God, can we help these people? And this is what they do. Day three, Iron Mountain, Michigan. Keeping an eye on these panhandlers. I don't know what's going to happen today. I don't know if I'm going to confront them. I think I'm going to let them know I've been filming them. Definitely uh, get close enough maybe later on that they know. But I don't know. Don't know. I'm going to sit here in the shade across the street and wait for them to come out. Check out them tires. So, this morning after my train video, I caught them, as you saw, um, going down US 2. They're heading to the north end of town where uh, they, I, I don't know what they did, but for 15 minutes they drove around on the north side of Iron Mountain, which there's nothing up there. There's all homes. When I came back north, I discovered them at, uh, well, they were by a and W. I don't know if they're looking maybe to eat at a and W or what the case was. And then I followed them over here to where they are now at Peking Restaurant. It's a Chinese restaurant here in town. Um, there's two Chinese restaurants. One is Hong Kong Buffet, and the other one here is an Iron Mountain called Peking. Last night, they stayed at the Hearth Inn, which is right next to Taco Bell. And I assume they probably spent the night before there as well. You know, we have, as I understand, homeless people here in town because after COVID and after all the issues with that, there are people in need. And it's people like this that travel across the country panhandle city to city state to state taking money that they should be working for the fact is you know every business in this town right now is hiring nobody can get people to stay nobody can get workers that want to work everybody wants to be lazy they feel entitled they feel like they should just get a free paycheck these these people make me sick this is probably one of the most expensive vehicles I've I filmed a panhandler panhandling from. I looked up used 2017 Lincoln Navigators and they're right around $40,000. $40,000 and these people are panhandling. Their sign said they're out of gas, but they've been driving around all over the place. They said they're hungry, but here they are eating. They said they're homeless. They're staying at a hotel. They're full of lies and... Uh, I'm interested today to see what they're doing. And I hope you're watching this video. If you are, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Hit that share button on Facebook and other social media sites. Share these people around in case they come to your city. I would expect from here they're going to go to either Escanaba, where there's a Walmart and the UP State Fair is happening. Or they might go up to Marquette, possibly go up to Houghton. They're going to go to any Walmart they're going to go to any town with a Walmart. That's what I meant to say. Um, turns out Walmart is a great place to panhandle. So, Anyway, they've been eating an hour now. <laughs> they got to be almost done uh, when they are.
I'll be back. So we're at about an hour and a half now. And of course, I got vehicles that have parked in front of my view. Still got one more person to come walking out of there. I'm telling you, they keep parking in my way. Oh my God, is that is she wearing the same shirt as yesterday? Anyway, there's our third passenger that I've been waiting on. I gotta pick up my wife on her break in the next 20 minutes. Progress report, they have been in there over an hour and a half eating. They're both, all three I should say, are finally uh, in the vehicle. I'm hoping to find uh, where they're gonna go to before I go get my wife on her break so I can find them after her break. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm. That's a sucky thing about having one car for the family and trying to make videos like this. It's uh, almost impossible because I've got to attend to their work schedules, you know what I mean? So, anyway, we're gonna wait till they move relocate and we'll figure out what to do then so now they've had a good bite to eat they're hydrated they're nice and cool because they've been sitting inside the air-conditioned restaurant for an hour and a half you think they'll head to Nebraska now Oh geez, they're coming right over here, huh? Huh. I guess uh I guess they're gonna get a car wash. They hit the top of that with their car. It's funny. Nebraska is the other way, but Walmart's this way. <laughs> this is just, there they go, turning into Walmart. I suspect uh, we'll see them uh, setting up shop real soon. Do you understand yet why this just pisses me off? I mean, I understand yet why I do what I do? These people are nothing but scammers. Zero to do with anything but scams. You can go park in the shade next to the gas station. You guys will recall this used to be the uh, Burger King and Amico station. Uh, um, well, the Burger King—I'm not Burger King Mobile station before it burned down to the ground. Uh, I did film this where a firefighter uh, was almost crushed to death in a very dramatic video that was seen all over the world. Anyway, they are now going into Walmart. Just going to Walmart. I'm guessing right now is going to be my best time to go get my wife on a break since uh, they might be in there an hour. I knew it was going to happen. I picked up my wife and we ran to go get her some coffee, drinks from Elderweiss. And of course we passed them. <laughs> It was 30 minutes exactly 
from the point where I left Walmart to the point where we saw them on US 2 heading west. Now, I don't know. I, I suspect because of my postings on Facebook yesterday and this morning that someone probably either told them that I've, I've been watching them and filming them or they went out panhandling and were screamed at and yelled at by many people calling them out. That's happened. It, it does happen. So I'm going to just chill out here for about the next hour and see if they come back. And if they don't, I'm going to take a drive uh, north through town, just check out the local areas, and uh, I guess that'll be it. Man, three days in Iron Mountain, Michigan, with a $40,000 vehicle panhandling from Nebraska. How pathetic can you be? <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say... This sweet lady pulls up. She didn't want to be on camera, but she gave me 40 bucks for gas. Said she appreciates me uh, keeping an eye out for this community. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No sign of them yet, but I'm keeping my eyes out. Okay, pay attention. So you're gonna see them right now. Oh, to me it looked like they were pouring water in the radiator. Now if that was the case, you shouldn't be driving your vehicle all over hell with problems with your radiator. If, if they actually even have problems. I think it might just be a ploy to look like they're broken down and maybe somebody will come and help them. They just happen to be broken down right next to the one of the pot dispensaries. So, it's kind of weird. Talk about funny, right? Are you guys kidding me? They're gonna go to a pot store, ha. Huh. This is great. These guys are legitly going into a marijuana dispensary. Oh, I've got to get better video of this. They're literally going into a marijuana dispensary. I mean, you cannot get any better than this. Panhandling for pot. Straight up, no joke. I'm not even kidding. So they parked here, and you just watched them. They walked into Loom, L-U-M-E. One of the newer uh, marijuana dispensaries that just opened. It's very funny that, you know, They've been panhandling, they got money for a hotel, they've been eating Chinese food, shopping at Walmart, and now they're going to come get their fix on marijuana. <laughs> I, I, I could not make this up. I, I, I can't. And these people on Facebook that keep talking that they're legitly broke down, maybe they are, maybe, maybe they do have engine problems. Maybe they do have to keep adding water to, the, to, to keep it going right. But that shouldn't stop them from driving back across the country from where they came from and go home. Why they have to sit here in Iron Mountain, Michigan, panhandle from the good, hard-working people that live here, just so they can come over here and buy pot. That, oh, wait, just a minute. Maybe, maybe it's for medical reasons, right? Uh-huh. I just can't. I I, I can't. I th I'm probably going to confront them. I'm almost certain I'm just going to confront them at this point because what more do I need to prove? I mean, the best hope I can have is they they rented a hotel for another night and uh, wasted their money on it because 
they're not going to do much luck panhandling around here. My heart is beating so hard and fast. I'm just, I'm so livid right now. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed that this is the way I'm going to catch these people. Scamming our community by panhandling for pot. I, 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 I just can't believe this. Oh, here we go. How freaking nice, huh? How freaking nice. Watching you guys for three days now. Nice scam you got going on. Oh, absolutely is. Panhandling for pot, huh? It's going to make a great video. You guys are all over Facebook, all over YouTube, so I would suggest getting your ass out of town. Have a great day, eh? Later. I should probably, I should probably pull over somewhere. We need to talk. So immediately uh, after what I just did, I, I actually called Loom. I explained to them, they know who I am, I explained to them exactly what was going on, I explained to them the three people that were, I was filming, I let them know that I would not uh, post any of their employees or any of their customers other than the three people that, that I was filming. Um, very nice people, um, they were very understanding and they, they knew exactly what I was talking about when I talked about the panhandlers in town. So. Uh, just blows me away, you know. And the reason I confronted them then and there, just to get this done and over with, is because Loom has a policy of no weapons inside of their facility. And they wand you on the way inside. So I had a fairly good certain chance that uh, they were not armed. So I confronted them that way. Um, the reason I left as fast as I did is, did you see him going for the driver's side, opening the door? Uh, I don't know what his intentions were. But he was seemed to be pretty thankful that I'm going to put him on YouTube and Facebook. He says, this isn't a scam. So he, he speaks English. That's good. Guys, if you three are the ones watching this video right now, and you're, you're actually, you actually made it this far, let me tell you something. There's so many jobs in this town. I challenge you. I challenge you. I mean, if you if you're getting a room at a hotel, I challenge you. Get a job. There's three of you. It won't take but a paycheck or two, depending on the work you can do. And you'll do real good for yourself. I don't understand tan handling. I mean, I guess if I tried it for a couple of days in a town that I don't know, just to see how much money I could make, I might understand why people do this. But with a economy that is just starving for workers right now, and especially this place, Iron Mountain, Michigan, how remote can you be from where you live in Nebraska that you want to come here and panhandle from the people that are working hard here? for their money. Anyway, I hope they took my advice. I hope they left town. And I'm not kidding. I, I honestly need to take their and leave. I'm just, I'm just so irritated and so, so pissed off that this is where I found them to be. Go back and watch some of my other panhandler videos. I've got a couple of years worth, and I understand if you're a railroading fan, I don't know why you'd be watching this now. If you did, thank you so much. I, I hope you understand why I'm doing this. Share this video again to Facebook. Share this video to Facebook. Share it to everywhere you can think of. Out these people. If you see them in your town, tell them they've been seen. It's the only thing I know to do. The first few times I, I filmed scammers, I literally went up and I confronted them, and those made good video. You can go back and watch them, they're on YouTube. Then I kind of started laying back a little bit, kind of, you know, just watching and filming, and uh, then confronting. 
maybe after a few hours, that didn't end. You know, the last time I had a good video like that, uh, I honestly, I thought the lady was going to stab me, so I left. <laughs> that was, like I said, you got to go back and watch some of the old panhandling videos to understand why I do what I do. They're always driving nice vehicles. They're always from out of state. They're always out of gas at Walmart. And I always, <laughs> and I always, always get them on video. Hit that thumbs up, guys. Hit the share button. Make a comment below. And uh, as always, you know what? Have a great day, eh?